I don't know what color we have. Let's see. I haven't opened it yet, so... <gasps> I think I got the dark gold. I know, that's brown. I know, but their dark gold is a brown. <laughs> don't at me. That's just what they said it is. I will not be gaslit. Check the page. I will literally, literally link it to you. How to do it. This is the Wind X80. This is the fourth keyboard that they've come out with. This is by Wind Studio. This is actually in group buy right now. Looks like it starts at $305. You have both Wind Key and Wind Keyless. You have three PCB options. You have wired, hot swap, and solder, or you can do tri-mode solder. Looks like there are nine case colors, eight accents, three weight types, and four plates. For case colors, you have E-Retro White, E-White, Anodized dark gold, anodized black, anodized violet, anodized silver, anodized dark gray, spray coated green, spray coated orange. And then for accents, there's anal brown, anal black, anal gray, anal silver, anal purple, silver mirrored stainless steel PVD, black mirrored stainless steel PVD, or brass. And then for the weight, you have brass, copper, or black mirrored stainless PVD. So this is the Win X80. Let's see what we got. I just showered, so I might be a little oily. This is the dark gold unit, which is like a brown, but it's actually darker IRL. So it's an F13 TKL that's available in both Winky and Winky lists. Right off the bat, I noticed there's a ribbon cable, which is not ideal. It does have this little nice badge that actually sticks out. It does protrude out. It's like a little hill. It's like there's a diffuser. Pretty standard looking F13 TKL. So there's a lot to talk about this side. So the first thing is that you can see this accent piece. And then here you can see the weight. So the weight that gives the board the angle. The bottom piece transitions into the weight. And then you can see this little accent seam. Here is the back. Looks like you have this weight piece right here, but then you also have this black accent piece. So it looks like four case screws on top, four on the bottom, so a total of eight. There's a nice protective film made by Gwyn Studio. Very small. And then here's a USB port. Oh, so this is pretty cool. This weight has this nice little accent. USB port. Here you have the Gwyn Studio branding, but this is the 80. So this is the keyboard branding. Here's the front lip. This is the weight bar. This is tiny! So this is the mirrored stainless steel PVD, but it also comes in a brass or a copper. This case is five pieces. You have the top case, you have the seam piece. These two would be the mid piece, and then you have the bottom piece, and then this is the weight, and then you have the weight bar. And there's four plate options. PPFR4 PC Alu, so this one is the Alu. This is for the sandwich mount, and then this is for the gasket mount. So there's actually three mountings. There's PCB gasket mount, plate gasket mount, or sandwich. Sandwich mount has this plate, which acts as the mid piece. It has the mid piece on it. And then you have these plates, which are for the gasket mount. And so the ones with the little teeth are the gasket mount. And then these, this is for the sandwich mount. These will be different colors, but it's always gonna be alu. Once you've picked your mid piece color, you cannot buy an extra mid piece. So the weight and the mid piece that you buy are going to be the same color. They don't let you buy different weights. So the back weight and the mid frame color, th these are your only options. You cannot buy extras. The only way you can get a different mid piece color is if you buy the plate. If you want to do sandwich mount, you need the specific plates. The plates have the sides. This is why they give you different plate colors because see, you get the purple plate and then it's a purple side. It's a little confusing. That's basically the TLDR. So here is the PCB. So it's going to be the same thing as the plate gaskets, but you see the six on the top, six on the bottom. You get to step the regular caps lock you can split the left ship. You have a choice of 6.257 new bottom row. Looks like it has ISO support. You can split the backspace. You can split the right shift. There's indicator 
on this one. The caps lock does not have indicator. There is an indicator right here. This is for the ribbon cable. That's about it. No RGB, no underglow, nothing fancy like that. No reset button. That's the PCB. I'm convinced I've convinced my cousin to do pickleball. <laughs> Cousins in the market. And then I saw this reel where this girl was like, don't go on dating apps, just go play pickleball where you meet singles <laughs> and connect with them that way. She's like, and now I'm dating a doctor. <laughs> She's like, screw dating apps, <laughs> just play pickleball. And I told her, I was like, you could just play pickleball and meet someone. And she was just like, oh my god, not you too. Because apparently someone else, like, apparently someone else sent her the same reel. <laughs> and I was like, this, this is your sign to go play pickleball one. <laughs> Now that we have built with both with battery foam and no battery foam, we know now that was the main culprit. That's good to know, especially if you plan on buying this board. If the sound sounds a bit strange to you, would highly recommend putting in the foam. I put two in, so it's like fully compact in there. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about this board. So this is the Win X80. F13 TKL, you can see this seam. You can have different color schemes, but it's weird on what you can and can't buy. But basically, you can technically change this color. You have this weight, which holds the battery compartments. There's one, two. And then you have this weight bar. And there are three available options for the weight bar. And then for this back weight, you have eight different accents that you can do and you do have these like tiny adhesive feet but something that's interesting because this board has three mounting styles you can do pcb 
which means you can do plateless. You can do gasket plate, plate gasket, and then you can do sandwich. And then depending on the mount you do, it actually changes where you have the mid piece. So if you do PCB mount, the gasket is going to go over. And then if you do plate gasket, the mid piece is going to go in between the plate and the PCB. And if you do sandwich mount, you get rid of the mid frame because the plate is the mid frame. I'll show you here. So this piece is the mid piece that you can actually flip, right? So here you can see it says the plate gasket. It would go PCB, plate gasket, plate. And then if you flip this, this one now says PCB gasket. You would just put the PCB underneath here and then put the mid piece and then the top case, right? And so the biggest difference between the PCB gasket and then the plate gasket is if you look here, there's no grooves, right? But then when you flip it, you can see there's the grooves now. And that's because since the plate goes on top of here, you need to have these cutouts for the plate gaskets that will fit in here. And then if you do the PCB gaskets, since this goes on top, you need the grooves on the bottom because the PCB goes on the bottom. So it's interesting because depending on if you do PCB gasket or plate gasket, you have to flip this and then the grooves are there respectively. And then for the plate gaskets and the PCB gasket, there's actually 11 mounting points. You have two, four, six on the top and then five on the bottom. So a total of 11. So these mounting points are going to be the same as the PCB and plate. And then both are no flex cuts. So these are the sandwich mount plates. And so this has the mid piece basically built into it. If you get like the brown plate, then your seam will be brown. If you get the purple plate, your seam will be purple. So I have this one, the silver chamfered edge, which means the shiny edge, but it's still the alu plate. If you want to do sandwich mount, but you want like a shiny seam, you can get the shiny silver or you can get the shiny black. And then here are the weight bars. You can get copper, mirrored stainless steel, PVD, or brass. So if you like this configuration, not including switches or keycaps, it's going to be $395. But the starting price is going to be $305. And obviously, if you get like the PVD, it's going to be more expensive. The dark gold color is the one I have. Hmm? You might think, oh, Patty has brown, but I have the dark gold color. That's what it looks like. In real life, it looks a bit more silver. If you look at that, that's in like bright light. So that's kind of more accurate. Okay, but yeah, that's the build. Thank you, Wind Studio. And thank you, Divinity Key, for sending this out to me. That's the build.